My father's had an art studio going somewhere in the house my whole life. He started painting again somewhere in 2019 and it became his therapy. Through the pandemic and up to today, he's created over 350 paintings. He was running out of room to store them and he gave them to me and I put them upstairs. After a few months, I got around to looking at them and naming them and documenting them and recording them and making pictures. And I was back to doing what I do best, putting the cart before the horse. I set up an Etsy account with a web space adjacent to the page. The domain was a name that I thought of two years ago, mistints.net. I was unable to get mistints.com. Somebody already owned it, though it was not in use. A few days into its creation, a negative story appeared on the front page of the search with Google. The story claimed to be objectionable, but it was false and it was scaring people off. To this day, I don't know why people say a computer wrote it. I requested the writer remove the story and they did but they said they had no control over the search on Google. While contacting Google to try and get that removed, I inquired one of the many ads for Google Ads, or Google AdSense, or whatever. I filled out an application before I'd even finished. I noticed that my account had been froze. I tried filling out another account, which later I would learn is against their policy. I also tried speaking with a live person. I spoke with three people that could not help me out. One of them was rude and hung up on me, and I called back swearing, which later I would learn is against their policy. The review wasn't very clear as to what happened. I think the word fraud or fraudulent was involved. I did enter my CEV code wrong one time. Who hasn't done that? Next, I looked online for any art contests and upcoming events like Royal Oaks Arts Eats and Beats. I entered 20 paintings for a contest with an online art gallery named Light Space Time. We received a few honorable mentions and some runner-ups, but we did not win. I did pin a picture of the winning painting up next to one of my fathers, the one that I call Wizard in Glass, to remind myself that his work is just as good, and better luck next time. Meanwhile, I had also learned how to look up the domain that I wanted, mistints.com, on a website called Who Is. It looked like it was expiring soon. Somebody did write me back, letting me know that it was for sale. I offered $50 and never heard back. I was keeping my eye on it. it looked like the date was coming up around May. Next month's contest for Light Space Time Online Gallery, the month of March, their theme was abstracts. We entered 25 paintings. He won, fifth place. A press package of sorts was offered, but no cash prize, even though one was being offered for the next contest. My mother and aunt bought three paintings to try and generate some traffic for the Etsy page and get some reviews, and I discovered many artists in there doing reproductions of different sizes and even different dimensions for different prices than the ones they were listing. I discovered a photo lab in the area, which was actually right up the road, it's Titan Photo Lab, Professional Photo Lab in Troy. Through this, I also discovered my father's previous work from his Photoshop days in 1998 to 2001. It was in an old photo jacket I was borrowing, and I started documenting that as well. I purchased a few enlargements and reproductions to see how they would turn out. The paper copies did not impress me. They reminded me of posters, and they cost a lot of money to make. I had Titan Photo Lab turn a few paintings into digital imaging, for reproduction, but abandoning all models from the other artists selling on Etsy. I had also learned how to use Adobe Photoshop and Shutterstock images to create fake ads, which I was no longer going to do that as well. I was beginning to think originals was the way to go. At this time, I took some projects on at my mother's house with her front step and her rear deck. The day that MissTense.com was becoming available, I was working at my mother's house and keeping an eye on it with my phone. I was also paying for a service to obtain this handle if it became available, crazydomains.com. Somewhere between my house and my mother's, somebody had obtained the handle. Crazy Domain said they missed it and refunded me my money. Later it looked like they all became GoDaddy. And now instead of being worth $10, it was for sale for $3,600. At this point I shut down, I took all the paintings down from the Etsy page, I left one, my favorite one, Soul of the Republic, and I put it up for $13,900.
because it wasn't selling for two. In my opinion, these paintings are amazing. He's been painting more portrait size paintings and bridging away from the smaller ones, but he's got a lot of two by ones. He's got a lot of 16s by 20s and 30 by 30s and 14s by 14s. He's got a set of pastels that he's called his stained window series and uh, the tile series, which are all the 14 by 14s. And he's never been afraid to experiment and try new things. I'm not an art critic and I'm not an artist in that sense. And I feel like if I was Paul Logan, I could sell these as NFTs and they'd still be worth more than the fake ass cartoons that he sold to all his fans before he pulled the rug out from under them. So says Coffeezilla and everybody. I did take these paintings to a few galleries. One lady seemed more interested in talking about herself. I tried calling her a couple times because I wanted her to look at the painting Soul of the Republic and she was real short on the phone and said they were not taking in work at this time. So I'm just Brian. These are real paintings. This is real artwork. It can also come with a supercharged digital image. It might as well be an NFT. And what's the difference between their NFTs and my NFTs? Like I said, these are real paintings. They are mostly categorized and I plan on showing five a week, starting this week on my channel. And my idea was this. If you can generate any value behind any of these paintings, if you could find a buyer, or even if you wanted to buy one for 33% off, a third of this money will go to you. If you could sell it for $1,000, 333 of that would be to you. I'll be donating my third to the Michigan Humane Society my father is doing so as well. But aside from that pipe dream, I'm really also just curious what people think about this work. If people like it the way I do, or if you think it just looks like crap. I mean, let me know, because this is my gallery. This is the closest thing I've had to a gallery since I've obtained this work. A couple people said they like it so far, and that's good to hear, it's good to see. But I want to showcase five of these a week, starting this week. The five that we picked for this week are Soul of the Republic, I Forgot, Tomorrow's Edge, Wizard and Glass, and B17. We'll be making shorts for these and a little video about each one as well. Subscribe to the channel so we can contact you and you can contact us. And stay tuned and thank you for watching.